I'd like to share with you a new method that I came up with for laying out sight lines. Uh, I've, I've shared a couple methods with you before on the blog, uh, such as the graphical method, and then there's the method where you can use trig tables. And these are both ways that you can use the rake and the splay to come up with what your sight lines are and your resultant angles for the actual drilling. Uh, in this one, I'd like to show you a more direct layout method that I think you'll enjoy. But first, there's just one concept we have to talk about, and that is the way that moving these legs out at an angle actually increases incrementally the distance mm -hmm. that they're going to be moving out in the measurement along this straight line of the tabletop. In other words, if I move this out one more degree, it's going to move a certain distance on the tabletop. But if I kick my leg out two degrees, I actually have to kick it out more than twice that distance. And it will continue incrementally because this leg is not just moving at an angle in a rotary fashion, it actually then has to reach down to meet the table. So it just creates a situation where the ruler that we're going to use, this is a special ruler based not on just numbers as they would be one inch, two inch, and three inch, but it's based on how an angle is going to relate to a flat surface as we make it. Before I go into the new method, I'd like to just basically show you what it is that we normally do when we're laying out a sight line which is it's based off of a baseline that connects two points on your pattern that you're trying to drill. Then, using the trig tables for instance, you would get an angle that you would draw off of that baseline and then that angle would give you your sight line. So that you would then put a square along your sight line at 90 degrees, you would set your bevel square based on whatever the trig tables tell you to at a specific angle and these are the two angles that you would then use. You'd use 90 degrees in one and you'd follow your bevel square in the other. Well, using a different kind of ruler, we can do this directly without having to go to any charts. Basically what I want to use is this bevel boss, which is a, a very handy tool to have, which is not based on inches but based on degrees. So you get one degree, two degree, three degrees, and so on, all the way out to 50 degrees. And what I was talking about before with that incremental increase in distance along the flat, it measures that for you. So basically the one degree is a lot less than between 49 and 50 degrees. There's just more distance here than here. And that's why this is going to work so well for this next technique. Let's imagine that we want to drill into this spot right here uh, with a style that's going to go back and over. It's going to splay out 7 degrees. It's going to rake back 13 degrees. That much we know. Well, to lay it out with the bevel boss, it's as simple as this. You put the zero right on your spot there, and you mark 7 degrees out. Create a square, a line square to your baseline coming up off of that, and you measure 13 degrees up. Then you connect up that point you just laid out with your initial spot where you actually want to do your drilling, and there you have it. There's your sight line. Then all you need to do is get your resultant angle, and that actually couldn't be much simpler. You literally just measure the hypotenuse using the bevel boss rule, and that will give you what you need to drill. So it's about 14.5. I don't know if it can really get all that much simpler than that. 